So we're getting that mid-set commentary coaching from the Maniac J. Uh, has been doing it forever. I think pretty much all of us have been doing it forever. <laughs> Is that oh, starter zone? Oh, Gentlemen? We got a sheep versus Bayonetta battle. Yeah, Jesus has been playing one thing in Nano recently to come with the bad Batman to go to. Because he has good characters so and having some of those exploded. I always thought uh, Jace was more of a sheep person. Oh, oh yeah, Jace. Uh, I meant J Boss. Playing Bayonetta. Jace is playing sheep. Well, I was also gonna say because J Boss is a Yoshi man. Okay, uh, uh, pretty aggressive oh. combo stuff happening right here. And just like that, the first stock is gone. That's pretty unexpected right there. Not something that kills right away. The question now is can Maniac Chase keep his mentality after an early death like that? I think he still has a chance. Oh, this is only a 7%. I was like at 40 earlier and I made a hell of a comeback versus uh, Lunchbox. Oh, don't yeah, ask, I... don't ask me how. Uh, the gods of Smash smiled upon you. Maniac is careful with his options, knowing there's that witch time and that train boy and air dog. So I'm that up. Well, Sheik is one of those characters where you need to be careful with your options um, because you know, Sheik does not have a good recovery as well. Okay, I love that. Oh! oh. You know, I'm surprised he's not dead yet. You don't win. Whenever I go. play against Maniac Chase and I can't manage to kill him, I always tell him it's because he's set too high percent for me to combo into death. I don't have any combos. But he's always too high percent for me to get a token that's, that's what I was thinking too because the last tourney I, I, play, I played against him and um, it was really difficult to kill him. It really was. Like, maybe I chase, getting some chase position here. And, and uh, looking pretty to come back right here. Oh, wow. Let's hope he can because he's at 96. Should have down grabbed him something, grabbed attack. That mash from J Boss twice now is so fast. But then again, that recovery has to be timed so well. J Boss, fast fingers, man. That's something I've always struggled with, is mashing out of that. Yeah, but if this was against Wispy, totally different. Three, two, one, go! What's up? Uh... I guess it's that thing right there, I don't know. Is that where you go? Jace is getting wrecked over here. Oh, there it is. Right, sorry for that brief intermission, trying to figure out the screen. Um, Big Boss is making a point to do the here in this second round. 
He's gonna have to do it for at least another 40%. That's right. These two players, both PR, you know, gave us a little higher, I believe, at 6, I wanna say, 6 yeah. or 7. I'd, say, I'd agree with you on that because uh, J-Boss earlier freaking destroyed me with Yoshi. I'm actually surprised he's not going Yoshi. It might have something to do with the matchup. Uh, Yoshi sometimes, when he's playing a difficult matchup, he has a hard time doing the, the things that make him a good character. Uh, also, this could be just a uh, practice room for J-Boss uh, for Plus City Smash coming up at the end of the, the month of October. Uh, oh, you wow. might want to just have the Bayonetta ready for the big one. Oh, J seems to be doing better here. He's still got both of his stocks. Um, 54%. I see him with no chance of base winning this battle. He's holding on strong, 170, that's a pretty high damage rate for 170, oh my god. Yeah, Jay seems to be doing a very good job proving his dominance here. Uh, definitely something, 192. Every hit counts. Maniac Jay squeezing out every little bit of extra credit from this first stop. 204. That's, That's like the highest I've ever seen for Sheep. But I see Jace winning this battle. It's not beyond J-Boss to put on a, a massive comeback, but he's going to have to figure something out soon. Trying to try that edge guard Bayonetta. So tricky. That's one of the harder recoveries to edge guard. Oh, that's such a strong option. Any man can just to throw a move. Uh, Bayonetta can just up the castle of the Of course. Uh, oh, that's such a strong option. Any man can just to throw a He's getting there. Yeah, she's being light. She's not, she's not far from 2%. Definitely not. Ooh. Ooh that right, was, that was right a good job right there. The timing was a little off. I would have uh, up there that too high percent right now. Despite what the percentages tell you, Maniac Chase could possibly be at this advantage. Oh, but and there he it won. is. He won. Maniac Chase always so good at this that makes Trump back air. Um, you have to learn how to play against it if if you want to have a chance against beating Maniac Chase. That's what he did to me. And the thing is, he'll condition you to get off the ledge as quickly as possible to buffer a roll or a jump, but then he'll be expecting that too. Maniac Chase, such good options on the ledge. It's a great ledge play. You know what the other thing I like about him is? Is that he can tell when you're gonna ledge. He can. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes uh, players can actually try to listen for cues from the other player if they're mashing something or if they just tense up a little bit. Uh, some players can uh, listen in on that and take three, an action like that. Alright. So here we are for round three. And this is still two out of three, I think. Yes, it is. That's, that's crazy. Two PR players and one of them will be eliminated. And this is losers. It is. One of them will be eliminated uh, early on, at, at least for what they're used to. It's a very close damage is a close ratio to the code. Um, grab game. Oh, man. That, oh, wait, it was almost over. It almost lights out. But he manages to hold on to his first stock. It's going to be so important because if he gets a. a 
If Bayonetta takes a lead early, she can just run away with it. I didn't know that. I don't I don't have Bayonetta. I don't have any DLC characters on my version. Oh, and oh, he's oh, got the lightning, oh, but he good. manages it's to great come lead. back. Great lead from Maniac Chase. Not quite. There it is. That's going to kill. That's it right there. Getting some help from the platform. J-Boss missing that tech. And now, Maniac Chase, he's in position to make us look a lot like that previous match. Let's hope it stays like that. How much extra credit can Maniac Chase switch, switch, uh, squeeze out of this stuff? Excuse me. He's got to get up to a good percentage of damage before we can feel confident that he's going to win before he loses. Oh, well, after he loses his first stock. My bad. Okay, 50-50 maybe at best for Maniac Chase right now. 74. Yeah! Yeah! 91. That's so smart for Maniac Chase, knowing that he wasn't going to get punished for the first vanish. Okay. Could this be a two stock? Oh man. I thought you could recover any further than that. Boy, I gotta go to the end here. Yup. But it's Maniac uh, Chase coming on to a fresh stock J Boss at almost 120. That that won't be enough. Next one will be. You gotta up air that Chase. You gotta up air. I would have done that at least. Attack on these percents. Catching his breath a little bit after getting comboed. I, I think he's starting to get triggered. Okay, uh, finding his rhythm. This is dangerous. We got ourselves a good match here, ladies and gentlemen. This game is just about even. That's a good uh, one of those, one of those back airs near the ledge might just do it. All well, this rage Bayonetta has, that's a strong attack. One piece of fire. Bayonetta's not good, yeah. Okay. Here we are, it is even once again. The heartbeats, man, I'm telling you. Down to the wire, these two great players. Who's going to take it? Whoa, oh no! It's not enough! Oh, the oh it again! Nice! Maniac Jace showing us why he's best in Brazil. Great job to him. Uh, props to J-Boss making it that far. Making the trip from uh, Mission, I believe. Damn, uh, nice. Good, good stuff to both players.